Okay, Tov. Good morning. We continue with the three minute daily dose of Torah. And yesterday we left off a theme uh, of the second bracha of benching, which uh, sits in the blessing of the land of Israel. And we talked about what it means to, to be thinking about the goodness of the land of Israel, even if we're not there, but all the more so when we are. And that theme really takes on even greater form in the third bracha, the third bracha of benching. <coughs> the, uh, the Gemara continues, David Ushlamo, Tiknu um, it was David and Shlomo who, who established the bracha of Bonei Yerushalayim. What's the next bracha of benching? It begins with Rachem and Bonei Yerushalayim, ends with Bonei Yerushalayim. So uh, this seems to be a bracha that morphed, that morphed. On the one hand, in the, in the time of, of David and Shlomo, right, think about the shift. Yeshua enters the land of Israel, and now he says, folks, no longer reliant on the manna. We're now, we're now benefiting from, the, from the, the blessings of this land itself. And let's make sure that we, uh, we, we capture that in the second half of the, of the continuation of the, of the Pasuk. Before the good land. Uh, but, but, but what is Bonei Yerushalayim? That is sort of the, the grander experience. It kind of moves away just from... Um, the food that we're eating to the larger vision. The food has enabled us to uh, to like, like all food is meant to do. It's meant to give you energy to then to, uh, to lead a life. And in this say, in this case, we're saying that it was it was David and Shlomo who established the bracha, which which we clearly say that God builds Jerusalem with uh, it was it was David who brought us to Jerusalem, right? And Shlomo who who brought it to its great, its, 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 its grandeur with the, with the base of Midrash being rebuilt and <coughs> being built, excuse me. Um, so they, they, they epitomized the, the high point of the Jewish people, meaning that the, 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 the sustenance uh, that we have gained from eating from the land uh, hasn't been used in a wasteful way, but rather to build this nation, to build this nation. Now in, in, the years that ensued after the exile, we, we had to put in <coughs> an additional uh, build-up to that, right? I don't think David in, in, had written Rachem. Uh, it's only after the destruction that we see Rachem, Na'ashem, Elkeinu, Yisrael, Amecha, Ba'yushim, Recham, Elzim, Meshachim, Vodecha, right? We ask God to be merciful about them because they are in destruction. And we, uh, and we, and we feel that pain. And we want to get back to the fullness of the bracha that seemingly Shlomo and David, um, you know, had established of Bonei Yerushalayim. And so that's uh, the, the, the alteration that we have in that third blessing itself. We continue tomorrow with the last and final bracha of Berchad HaMazon.